Welcome back to my channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video I'm going to be talking about another weekly update of the hair transplant that I got in Turkey along with some of the aftercare that I've been doing post transplant. So if you're watching this video, chances are that you're either considering getting a transplant or you've gotten a transplant and you're curious on how other people's post transplant is going. Regardless of which it is, I hope that I can provide some sort of value in these videos and uh, please do consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this. I also do have a video talking about my experience of the clinic that I went to in Turkey. I'll leave that link in the description below. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. You can hear my honest thoughts and uh, what I thought about the whole experience myself. So it's been three weeks now post-op, 21 days to be exact. And to be honest, so far my head is looking pretty good in my opinion. I don't think that I've been losing many grafts as a lot of people say they do when they, when they first start. but I definitely did notice that in the shower while I was trying to wash my hair, you definitely can see that when you put your hand out in front of you, you see the amount of grafts or tiny hairs that have fallen out. I did my own research and I checked online. It looks like that is normal to happen, but um, of course my experience might be different from somebody else's. If somebody else has gone through this as well, please let me know if that's normal. But overall, I think the experience so far, these past three weeks have been fine. I've been sleeping normally. I've been going out normally, I I've, I've, haven't had that worry about people are going to be staring at my head because honestly I think the length that I'm at is pretty okay. I do notice that the sides of my hair now are starting to grow out more and if you can tell that um, you can kind of see that it's kind of growing out a little bit more compared to the top but again it's, it's something that I think everyone will have to deal with. I am scheduled to get a haircut in about a week or so but I think my own personal experience, I'm just going to let it grow maybe for like a month and a half or even two months and just to kind of see how far I can push it until I really need to start wearing a hat or maybe get a, a, a zero fade or, or something like that. I have seen that a lot of people do say if your donor area is a little over harvested, it might not be as good to do a zero fade. I had 6,000 grafts extracted from my donor area and I thought that was a bit too much. But then again, when I was at the clinic, they told me specifically that my donor area was really good and they were able to extract more. So again, based off of their experience with other results, I, I had no reason not to trust them. But I'm gonna just show you my head right now to see what it looks like after three weeks of a hair transplant. Now for those that are new to this uh, to this channel, you might notice that my crown was not completed. Uh, this was because that when I went into Bear Clinic to get my hair transplant, they specifically told me that they would not be able to achieve the full head of my hair because of the extent of my hair loss. I definitely had no hair at the front or the middle, and of course the crown, but when I went in, they told me that I probably will have to come back for a second session. So I will eventually maybe do that depending on how well this first half of my hair <laughs> grows. But right now I'm content with what I have. Uh, I have more than what I had before, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, so yeah, moving forward, I, I will try to see if how the hair keeps growing and within the next six months, if, if I think I'm pretty happy with my results, I, I probably will stick with that. But of course, if I do feel like I really want to cover up the crown, I, I will definitely go back for a second session. Now, after your hair transplant, at the clinic, they actually offer to purchase some hair aftercare to be able to sustain the growth of your transplanted hair and push them out to be able to grow faster. So one of the products is this uh, GIA hair serum provided by the clinic. I'll just try to put it in front here. Um, so this has been recommended to be used after the 12th day of your hair transplant and so basically this GH serum helps to reduce hair loss and promote hair growth and uh, it's also recommended mostly for patients that have done a hair transplant specifically. Just quickly show you how I actually have to apply this is that the, the clinic recommended to use about five or six drops at night on, on the transplanted area. So all you need to do is drop about five or six droplets on the top of your head and once that's done just gotta rub the solution over the transplanted area once it's all covered and once you're done with that they also recommend you apply on your donor area for faster recovery and faster growth 
what I did was I put a couple of drops in my hand, rubbed them together, and I massaged my donor area together with that. Now, this is all supposed to be done at night, so the video you're seeing is uh, reenacted during the daytime, but this is basically how you do it, and then you're able to sleep peacefully like a baby. Now, one great thing I have to say about this entire experience was that despite me being three weeks post-op, I'm still able to be in uh, communication with the clinic that I was with, uh, Vera Clinic. They definitely have one of the best customer service that I've seen. They're really looking after everything that happens afterwards. They request you to keep sending them photos of your hair and the transplanted area to make sure everything's intact. They constantly tell you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. Any of the questions I've had for them so far, they've definitely been quick to respond and they advise me accordingly. Like for example, just today, I thought after 21 days, I could start going to the gym, but uh, they recommended just wait a month and then you can kind of really feel um, back to normal and, and it's more okay to do it after a month. And you know, I, I appreciate little things like that because at the end of the day, you know, we as, as guys go down to, the, to a foreign country to do a big procedure like this and we leave pretty much immediately after that, it's uh, it's no joke, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little scary, a little traumatizing, but it's nice to know that the clinic still cares enough to want to be able to keep following up with you and making sure that whatever you've gone through is correct and whatever you're going through is still happening correctly. So um, I really appreciate that from the clinic that I went to, uh, Vera Clinic. I definitely do recommend anybody who wants to go check them out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to be able to contact them if, uh, if you're ever considering uh, getting a hair transplant in Turkey. I'm trying my best to upload as much as I can with my journey of this hair transplant, but of course I'm trying to make sure that I'm providing more value to you guys and if there's anything else that you guys want to know about a hair transplant or how it happened in Turkey or even like um, any questions you have regarding it, I'm happy to provide anything and I'm going to continue to keep providing tips along the way. You know, this is also a learning journey for, for me, but it, I'm sure if, if you're watching this, it's going to be a learning journey for you as well. And with that, please do consider liking and subscribing if you like videos like this. And I'll continue to post every week, to every month, to uh, as much as I can until I see long, beautiful hair on my head. Hopefully one day. But um, yeah, I'll definitely keep going. And, and please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.